Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun, interesting video. I know you guys have heard of the store Primark. They have a beauty section in that store and I came across it while shopping and I decided that I would try some of the products out and do a video for you guys to let you know what I think of the products and to show you guys what they look like themselves. So, so let's go ahead and get started. I um, did a few things off camera and my brows are already done. My lids are already primed. I am gonna start by priming my face. Uh, the one thing I didn't see, I don't know, because I am a little blind, so it's very possible that I missed it, but the only thing that I did not see at the Primark store is foundation, but they literally had everything else. So I'll be using my own foundation today. And I'm just throwing that out there is because I didn't see any foundation. I was willing to give it a shot, but I didn't see any. All of the products were less than $5, I'll say that. So it's very affordable, but at the same time scary because it's like, okay, if I'm paying less than $5 or something, how good is it really gonna be? Who knows but that's what I'm here for I'm gonna try these products out and yeah so we'll see so here's my good good goodie bag got like seven or eight different products from mascara to blush to concealer to what else is in here a little eyeshadow palette I got lipsticks I got lip liners got a good amount of stuff so let's go ahead and get started on the face like I said I didn't purchase any foundations from them because I didn't see any but I did go ahead and I don't even know if I saw a primer I saw like a strobing primer and I'm not a strobing type of girl so I didn't get that but for those of you who like to strobe they did have a strobing illuminating primer um, other than that that was the only primer that I saw but I just went ahead and primed my face using my cover effects mattifying primer I think I'm gonna go in with my NARS luminous weightless foundation I haven't used this in a minute So now I'm going to go ahead and work on the eyes. I've already primed my eyes. I'm going to go into this beautiful eyeshadow palette by Primark. As you can see, the tag is still on there. This palette was $3. Not bad at all, but we're going we're gonna to put it to the test. But look at these shades. They're so pretty. Let's see. Ooh, pretty good color payoff there. Ooh. Oh, this is gorgeous. Can you guys see that? Can you see how gorgeous this is? But I think I'm gonna use this last shade that I just swatched and this is like a gold metallic type of color. I'm wondering if it works better, if it'll work better for me if I use my finger. Okay, so I'm a little disappointed because I went to dampen my little eyeshadow brush with some Fix Plus. I put it onto the eyeshadow that I was getting ready to use and it literally, I don't even know how to explain what just happened here. <laughs> it's not metallic anymore, it's just looking like a regular brown now. I don't know what's going on here. And I'm really disappointed because when I first watched it, as you guys saw, it was beautiful. So I don't know if you're supposed to use it just on its own without dampening your brush a little bit but I literally just jacked this up with that said I'm gonna go over to this pink shade here <laughs> I'm gonna go over to this pink shade here and maybe this one won't try to play me like this metallic gold one did so I'm just using my finger to apply this so this is pretty but it's not really it's not as pigmented as it was when I swatched it on my finger. And I'm going to show you guys what this one looks like now. Right after you use it, it kind of turns into this dull looking color. And it's not as metallic-y as it was initially. Yeah, I, I, I feel bamboozled. But this palette was $3. Not everything is going to be what you expect it to be. I can't even rock out like that. Like, I'm going to have to do something else. It looks like blah on my lids right now. What I am going to do is go into another palette. I feel like I'm not being authentic to the brand, but the brand bamboozled me. So I'm going to go into my Kathleen Lights palette by Morphe and I'm going to take 
this shade here because it's kind of similar and I'm going to put that over top of that Primark eyeshadow that I just applied. Then I'm going to go into this shade here to use as my crease color. Just keeping it simple. Hello? I'm doing my makeup. Anyway, the next thing I'm going to use is the concealer that I picked up from Primark. And this is in the shade Warm Sand. They shrink wrap the shit out of these things. Like Now, this concealer, <laughs> this concealer was only 90 cents. So, just keep that in mind and wish me the best. So, it appears to be a cream-based type of concealer. Very creamy. I just hate that word, creamy. It's a pervert word. Alright, so, so far I'm not mad at how this concealer applied. Not bad so far. Really gotta play around with it. It doesn't blend as easy as I would like it to, but it's getting there. The coverage is pretty good with this concealer. I will say that. Okay, concealer. Definitely not as much of a disappointment as that eyeshadow palette was. Gonna go in and set that concealer. Now you know what I think I did see that I didn't get, unintentionally didn't get, um, because if I was thinking I would have got it, but I, I did see a contour palette that I should have gotten and I didn't. So I am going to cheat again and use my Black Radiance Contour Press Powder. It's not a contour powder, it's a press powder. So I really just use this to warm up my face a little bit, to give me a little bit more dimension. Dusting away that setting powder. Now I'm going to go into their mascara. I picked up this waterproof mascara by Primark and it's in the shade black of course. So I'm just going to pop this on my lashes. Definitely giving me some volume there. Doing a little bit of lengthening. I'm not mad at that at all. So I do like the mascara so far. I like the concealer. I like the mascara negative to the eyeshadow palette that they have. We're two for three right now. The next thing I'm going to do is go into this blush that I picked up. And this is in the shade Sunset Strip. The blush was $3. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Nice peachy color. Beautiful. We like the blush. Blush is gorge. The next thing I picked up is a highlighter and this was also $3. Let me go ahead and take it out the packaging for you guys. Right off the bat I'm looking at it and I don't see how it's going to give me that glow that I like. Um, but we're going to give it a shot. Right now we're 3 for 4. We like the blush, we like the mascara, we like the concealer, we do not like the eyeshadow. Let's see if we could add this to our like list. Okay, we got some glow going on there. Okay, not bad, not bad. You kind of got to pack it on there to get it going and to get it nice and glowy, but it's not bad at all. Going into my lipstick, I picked this beautiful wine colored shade up and this was $2.50. This is a matte shade and let me go ahead and pop it off so you can see what it looks like this shade is very beautiful perfect for the fall and winter months smells good too smells really good it smells like chocolate oh and i also picked up a liner this liner is a little lighter than the shade i'm about to use but just because i'm trying to use everything that i purchased we're gonna make it do what it do this is nice Goes on nice and smooth. And I'm gonna apply the lip. Hmm, this is nice as well. It's going on nice and smooth. This shade is gorgeous. 
And so that's it, you guys. Out of the all of the products that I purchased, the only thing that I did not like was the eyeshadow palette. The lip liner was pretty amazing. The concealer was dope. I am not mad at this concealer at all to be 90 cents. 90 cents B. The blush was beautiful and I believe this blush was $3. The lipstick was $2.50. The highlighter in the shade Pearly Queen, this was also $3, the same as the blush. The mascara, which I love, did a great job, was $2.50. This little shady eyeshadow palette was $3. And the lip liner was a dollar. So overall, I spent $15.90. That's pretty much it, you guys. I used all of the products that I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo on these Primark beauty products. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel. And that's it, you guys. I love you. Until next time.